I have two uh, main impressions. Uh, one is that uh, it's, it's really an impressive work and is the result of a long-term process of change where the objective has been really in improving the livelihoods of people via better and more sustainable agriculture. And then people has been the center of those uh, development and of those innovations. I'm very impressed with uh, regarding the innovations with two things. One is uh, that people learn by doing it. And the second thing is uh, that it's not only about uh, reducing environmental damage from agriculture, but it's also about uh, fostering more agrobiodiversity and how that not only improves the agricultural systems, but also has effects on the livelihoods and on the diets of people. I think key learning uh, is that to do this type of changes, to uh, make sure that those innovations are really practiced and used by farmers, you really need to have a solid uh, social organization, a solid uh, social basis. Without that, it's very hard to really have a long lasting innovation process and also a sustainable adoption of those innovations. Actually, many of the innovations that we have seen during the last couple of days are adaptable because those are uh, designed around some general principles and those principles can be applicable anywhere. The work of this program for climate change adaptation because the innovations that we have seen here I think are very resilient, are based on a huge use of agrobiodiversity. So I think these systems by design are very resilient and then are super important for the adaptation of climate change to climate change. Mm -hmm.